Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fascination here to just talk. Um, yeah, just to talk about things. Okay, my Jeffree Star Cosmetics will be here tomorrow. Finally made it to PA. <laughs> right? Finally made it to PA. Let's see. How's my health holding up? My ankle hurts. I think I may have had a seizure in my sleep. But I'm living. I'm breathing. And I'm going to be okay. I have a video appointment later with my neurologist. Um, at least I have some assorted appointment. If you call that an appointment, <laughs> at least it's an appointment. Um, so I do have that. Um, I will be doing some sewing over here. Even though it's my right ankle, uh, it's not really going to bother me. I have my sewing, my sewing machine. There's a brain fart. Um... You know, I don't have any makeup on. Although, I do think that pencil lasted on my brow. It didn't come off, though. But I do think it lasted on my brow. I'm not mad at that. Um, the makeup did come off. But I'm not mad at that. Um, but here we go. Um, yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be perfectly fine. And I, I want everybody else out there to know you're going to be fine. You're, you're going to be just fine. There, there's really nothing to be afraid of. You're going to be okay. That's, you know, I have allergies and my, the cat has extreme dander. <laughs> it chubby thing has extreme dander. <laughs> he's in the house, he's shedding his hair, and he has extreme dander. <laughs> oh. And my uh, tailbone and my hip popped really hard last night, and... Then I freaked out because I saw this huge uh, multi-legger last night. I think maybe that's why I like freaked out. And it was hard for me to walk last night. Because my tailbone and my hip popped really hard. And uh, that was quite painful. But I'll tell you what, I survived it. I survived my pain. And um and that's from deterioration of the disc. Um I survived a lot of ailments and I'll tell you what if I can survive arthritis, deterioration of the disc, epilepsy, scoliosis. <laughs> um Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see what else. <sighs> a, a brain mass. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Rheumatoid arthritis. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Thyroid disorder. Uh, see, um, right now I'm anemic. Uh, that's why I have that yellow undertone. Uh, my anemia came back. Uh, let's see. I I should be a depressed person, but I'm not. I try to be very cheerful. Uh. 
to see other things. More thing. Oh. It's not lupus. Oh, fibroid male jet. I've been tested for lupus several times. I don't have lupus, but I do have fibroid male jet. With all these things combined, right? Plus my allergies. My goodness. Hold on. Seasonal allergies. Yeah, we have paper towels in the house. But what we don't have is like barely any toilet paper. But we have a septic tank, so we can't be flushing. You know, we can't be flushing these. Um, yeah, we can't. Uh, and that's sad, you know, we can't flush this, but we can only flush very thin toilet paper because we have a septic tank here. Um, and it's very sad. Um, I love President Trump because he found out an initiative going on and he's trying to handle this right now. Apparently New Jersey was supposed to have been sent like a shiitake ton of toilet paper and maybe that's what was up with that state police officer yesterday. Whoops. He was blocking that from coming through to everybody. I think somebody was being paid not to let that come through to the mass. Oops. Mr. President, we have a problem. You need to speak to the governor of New Jersey for being a jerk. Um, yeah. The, yeah, but we're not going into that. Um, but you know what? I'm still breathing. I'm still surviving. But, um, it's morning. I have stuff to do, like... Like the bodice that's sitting over there. I'm going to sit over there this morning. Try to finish this bodice. Um, attach it to the skirting that's over here. Try not to, you know, stress myself. Um, and knock this thing out. Today. And then be done with that. And it's all, excuse me, it's all good. Um, my neurologist's office wanted to know if my phone had certain capabilities. And um, they're like, oh, she doesn't do certain things on her phone. They're like, you have an iPhone? No. Why does everybody assume that everyone has an iPhone? Um, no. I can't afford no iPhone. I'm poor. I do not own no iPhone, sweeties. This is not no iPhone. Does it? Does this look like an iPhone to you? This is not no iPhone. I am sorry, but not everybody in the world owns an iPhone. Please. I am so sick and tired of people saying, don't you own no iPhone? No. I do not own an iPhone because I can't afford an iPhone iPhones are not affordable for everyone. Trust me. 
Not everybody can afford a darn iPhone. Those things are expensive. If I could afford something, trust me, it would not be no darn iPhone. But this, this gets me through my day. <sighs> Eh, I may ask her why do you, why does everybody assume that everybody in the world owns an iPhone? I do not own no darn iPhone. <sighs> it's sad. Is that not sad to you? It's sad. Maybe not everybody in the world wants to own an iPhone because they want something with a better technology than an iPhone. iPhone, quite frankly, is not the better phone because you're locked down only using the iTech and that's it. You're only locked down to using the iTech. And that's not necessarily the safest thing. Um, yeah, that's not necessarily the safest thing. Um, uh, my face is so puffy right here. Hopefully she'll see that. So this is what I'm going to do today. Um, Hemp Crate reached out to me, so this is what I'm going to do. Um... Because of all of the pain I've been in. And I've been suffering so bad. Um, I'm going to talk to her about what Hemp Crate asked me about. And it's the word hemp. Hemp. Okay. Not anything but hemp completely different than Mary Jane. Okay. Hemp Crate has reached out to me and asked me about something. And uh, so I'm um, why is that sunk in? Now that's weird. That sunk in. That's weird. And see that makes me think I may have had suffered a stroke Cause that's weird or maybe my epilepsy just messed up something I don't know um anyway that's not the point here um hemp crate has reached out to me so I'm going to speak to my neurologist today maybe she'll see this spot on my face and be like hmm we need to send you to that pain specialist. And then um, we'll see about getting you hooked up with hemp crate. <laughs> right. Um, so um, I have been watching. Uh, Anne Rankin, and I've been watching Abadabs, and I've been seeing how happy they are, um, and I want to be that pain-free. I do. I want to be that pain-free, because of all the pain I suffer. I want to be that pain free. Um, missing parts of my spine, uh, suffering with my arthritis, my chronic headaches. Although I can say that I always have to give a special thank you 
to uh, Death Wish Coffee for helping me with my headaches because they they really do help me with my headaches with their coffee product. They do help me with my headaches. Um, their coffee is really good for uh, epilepsy. Here we go with this again. I'm trying to mess up my video. But, um, see, we're even going to get past this hacker crap trying to mess up my video. Um, sorry guys, it, it gets a little hard to talk about this sometimes. Um, but, you know, I, I do always have to give a special thank you to Death Wish Coffee um, for helping me with my headaches because they have a just a blessed product. And then I always have to thank Sin City Soaps and Candles for helping me with my skin. Um... And their lip product, <laughs> which I do use. I really do use that. Um, and their skin care. Um, use my affiliate link for them. Shars Nation 10 to get 20% off your entire purchase. I know that's a shameless plug. <laughs> But I'm not ashamed to use it um, just to help you guys. I'm not ashamed to use it uh, just to help you guys. Um, and then coming up here soon, maybe in the next couple of months, uh, I'll be doing a giveaway. And uh, it'll be a health and beauty giveaway. So it'll be between a mixture of Sin City soaps and candles stuff and a Slay Glam. So the stuff that I won't need from Slay Glam, I'll be giving to the people that, you know, you've come to love my channel. I show you the love back between Sin City Soaps and Candles and Slay Glam because, you know, I don't intend to, to clutter. Um, I intend to give back. Now, as you guys know, as I was saying, I'm trying not to cry here. Um, Tomorrow I get my Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And those are mine. The first round is mine. Um, towards the end of the year. <laughs> towards the end of the year. I'm going to get another set. Um. Instead of purchasing something for my birthday for me, I'm going to purchase the same set for my birthday for somebody else and give that same set. Now, see, Jeffree Star and I are both November babies. And uh, so... I'll be giving that same set the blood palettes, all three blood palettes in November um, to someone else. So you can look forward to that this year. Um, wow, right? <laughs> Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> so, 
yeah. Yeah, that that's a big step. It also depends on how our economic structure goes. Um, President Trump has seen through the um, gray area of where things are going right now. I know we don't like to talk about politics. Um, and how uh, the governors are handling things in the states and making sure that the populace doesn't have anything. So he's stepping over them and trying to handle it better. Hoorah, booyah, thank you, Mr. President. So pretty soon we'll all have toilet paper again. Oh, by the way, saw this lady in the grocery store yesterday. Caught her in a big freaking lie. Right? The agenda, so to speak. She had on a government face mask. And what I mean by government, she had on a military grade medical face mask. A hospital face mask. How do I know this? And how do I know how what one looks like? Well, I grew up military and I know what one looks like. Oh, snapples. So she's giving me some BS story. And I'm like, ma'am, she's like, well, I have asthma and I'm on an oxygen tank. And normally I carry one with me. So I'm looking at her trying to find this oxygen tank. She don't have it on her. And I'm like, ma'am, I have asthma. That's the other thing I didn't tell you guys. I do have asthma. And I'm telling her, you know, like one of my friends in Colorado has asthma and he's on oxygen. And he has people going to the grocery store for him. I'm like, man, why isn't somebody else doing your shopping for you if you're actually on oxygen? She's like, um, I gotta go. Oops. That right there, my friend. Should tell you something. That right there, my friend, should tell you the agenda has been busted in public. Hoorah. I was not a recruit for the Army National Guard Armored Tank Division in 2002 for nothing. That bitch was lying out her ass. Trying to think that I was just Joe Schmo off the corner. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Some people are just shame. Some people are just a shame. And she was just like, she was dressed like she came out of a government office. I caught a government office person in a grocery store with a freaking face mask on. So tell me something about this lie. The lie got caught in the grocery store yesterday. <laughs> she left. She didn't even go through the checkout.
she left her shopping cart in a different aisle and walked out. What does that tell you? So, back to the truth of everything. <laughs> she got caught. Um, and I would never lie to you. I filled up a shopping cart. Paid $67 for my food. Uh, great price. Gas is down to a dollar ninety seven here. Some other places it was down to a dollar ninety five. But when this is all over, expect those gas prices to soar because we're gonna end up paying. I don't drive my friend drives, so we're splitting these expenses to make it. That's the only way we're going to make it. That is, that is the only way we're going to make it, people. We're going to have to split the expense. So, we're going to have to think about this. What is it in commerce that we're going to have to Split an expense to make it work. That's right. We have to be logical about this. Very logical. So, um, I have an appointment later. I have to get to sewing before my appointment. That's right. And I want everybody out there to, you know, have a beautiful stay, of course. And stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. Because, um, there's better things to do in life. Uh, don't stress over nothing because there's nothing to stress about. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, really um, don't buy toilet paper off of eBay, Etsy, <laughs> or Amazon, because you don't know if that's really real or anything. This is true. So you don't know if it'll be sent to you. <laughs> that's true. You don't. Um, don't buy toilet paper from strangers. <laughs> and I will see you later.